Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Priscilla. I hope you're having a great day. So in this video, we're going to be installing the operating systems into our VMs in VirtualBox. And uh, so we're gonna install Windows 2019 server into our three servers uh, and then the Windows 10 into our Windows 10 machine. And so if you haven't done this in virtual <laughs> in virtual box before, uh, I just wanted to walk you guys through it just so you um, know how to uh, when you're doing it on your end. All right, let's get to it. Thanks. All right, so we're gonna create our first virtual machine. So in virtual box, you're gonna click new and then you're gonna, this is gonna be our DHCP slash NAT server. And we're going to save it in a folder. Um, I'm going to save it on my SSD. And I already created that folder. So I'll save it there. And then we're going to select the version of the operating system that we're going to load. So this is going to be Windows 2019 uh, server, 64-bit. So we're going to go ahead and click Next on here. So we're going to select the memory um, that we're going to allocate to this machine. So it's going to use the RAM that's on your computer. Uh, so depending on how much RAM you have, uh, you kind of want to just divvy it up so that way you're not using all of your resources, uh, especially if you're going to be using your computer to do other stuff um, outside of VirtualBox. I have 32 gigs on my computer, um, and I'm mainly solely using this one for VirtualBox. So I'm going um, to go ahead and add 8 gigabytes on my virtual machine for all, virtual machine for all of my servers um, right now. And then we're going to click next. So here we're going to select the um, create a virtual hard disk now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click create. So on this one, we're going to uh, choose the file type that we want. So um, for now, we're just going to do VDI uh, because we're going to be using VirtualBox anyway. If you wanted to do like VHD, I think that's what would allow you to use it on an, another hypervisor, um, and then VMDK, I don't really know what that is, but I'd have to look into it. But for now, anyways, we're just gonna do VDI. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. Okay, so here we're going to pick the storage on our uh, physical hard disk. Um, so we're going to choose whether the new virtual hard disk is going to grow as it's used, which is dynamically allocated, or if it should be created at its maximum size, which would be fixed. I'm just going to go ahead and put dynamically allocated because that's what works for me. Um, but if you want to do fix, you can go ahead and do that as well. We're going to click next here. Um, all right, so now we're going to um, pick how much, the, well, the size of our virtual hard disk. Um, so I have an SSD. It's a terabyte. Um, so I have more room to play with. I am going to go ahead and put 60 gigs on all of my servers, just because um, a lot of the stuff that we're going to be installing is going to take up a lot of room. So that way I just have more uh, to work with um, for what I need. And then we're going to go ahead and click Create. And so that one's ready now. Um, so that's our first virtual machine. We're going to go ahead and go into Settings now just to uh, make a couple of more changes. So this is kind of what it looks like, just uh, gonna show you the different tabs on the general page. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and re like change the boot order. I'm gonna get rid of floppy because we don't need it. And I'll leave optical on top because that's what's gonna load the, um, I the OS ISO um, what, to install the operating system. Okay, so now, I'm going to, I mean, I'll show you, this is just other stuff that you could change. Okay, so now we're going to load the ISO that's going to install the operating system. Um, and I'm just, I have it saved already, so I'll go ahead and select that. And then so that one is good. So we're not going to make any other changes. Oh, wait, actually, my bad. So this one is our DHCP server. So we're going to have two network adapters. Our first uh, network adapter is going to be um, the bridged adapter. And this is pretty much going to allow us to receive an IP address from our, um, our network, our home network, um, for our host machine, from our host machine, I guess. 
Um, so this is what's actually going to get that uh, public facing IP um, internet, I guess. Um, and then we're going to do another adapter, enable the network adapter. And this one's going to be our host only adapter because it's going to be for our private facing um, internal network or virtual network. All right, so that's good. Um, I'm not going to make any other changes here for now. And so we're going to do OK. So that one's good to go. All right, so our second machine is going to be our, oops, <laughs> it's going to be our domain server. And we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing that we did for the first one, save it in a folder. And then click the Windows 2019, next. Again, I'm going to do eight gigs for this one as well. So there we go. Cool. Next, net create, VDI next, dynamically allocated next. Uh, 60 gigs for this one as well. So that one's done. We're going to make the same setting changes, uh, remove floppy and change the boot order. Also gonna load that ISO for the Windows um, Server 2019, the evaluation. And so the rest of our servers are going to only have one network adapter and they're all gonna be on the host only adapter. Um, it's only our DHCP server that's gonna have both of, uh, th those two. All right, so that's good, we're gonna click okay. Now we're gonna create our third machine, which is going to be our SCCM server. And I'm gonna do that again. I have another folder created. So there we go. Select Windows 2019. Oops, Windows 2019. And let's get to go. We're gonna click next. Eight gigs again. This is pretty like repetitive after you do the first one. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, next, next, 60 for this one. Cool, great. All right, so same again with the setting changes. Going to change the boot order, get rid of the floppy. And then we're going to add the ISO. There we go. And then we're going to go to the network. And change that to, oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, change that to host only adapter. Okay. And then our last one is going to be our Windows 10 machine. Um, and so we're gonna save that one as well to a folder I created. That one, we're going to leave Windows 10 because that's what we're going to use. This one I'm going to leave at 4 because I'm not really going to do much with it. Um, and then same thing, next, next. And then that one, we're going to leave it at 50 because, again, I'm not going to do much with it. Create, so that one's done. And then, so I'm not going to change the settings on that one. So we're going to go ahead and start our first server to install the operating system. So you just click Start, and it'll boot up. Uh, okay, so just select that ISO that you have, just click start. I don't know why it does that, but um, you might have that pop up when you do yours, or you might not. Um, all right, so it's gonna load. And I'm just gonna show you guys the initial, like the setup for this one. Just go over how like it actually loads. Um, and then I'll like fast forward through the other ones. All right, so you're just gonna click, click <laughs> select your language, um, the term and currency format, and your keyboard or input method. Um, so they have different options for different countries. Uh, so whatever works for you is what you'll select. So all of these work for me. So I am going to click next now. Install now. All right, so that's going to go. Okay, so there's different options that you can select. So the Windows 2019 Standard Evaluation and Windows 2019 Data Center Evaluation, those are just, um, they have no GUI, no graphical user interface. So you'll be mainly using the command prompt or like PowerShell. The desktop experience is what gives you that graphical user interface. So it's gonna, like, if you don't have that, um, 
the scripting knowledge, then just click the desktop experience. I don't have it, so that's what I'm going to use. <laughs> it's a way easier. Um, all right, so you do I accept license terms next. Do a custom install only. Um, click next on here. Next. And that's going to install. I'm speeding up. I sped this up um, with editing because it took a little bit longer. I wish my computer was that fast, but you know, just gotta. Okay, all right. Um, so we're gonna create our password now, our admin password. Sorry if I'm talking fast or anything. All right. So then we're going to select finish. And so, okay, so to enter the control alt delete, you can go to input keyboard and then just insert control alt delete. And that way you can um, enter your password to log in. And then, so that's going to load. And getting ready. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So you, you know, you got your first machine ready and the OS is installed so that you're good to go on the first one. And you're pretty much going to do the same for all of the other machines. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you guys how that works. Uh, and then I'm going to start the domain server and get that one going as well. So I'm going to go, go ahead and click start. And um, okay, I'm going to go again, just click start on that one, the CISO for Windows 2019. I'm going to load this one up. And yeah, so I, it's the same process. So I just sped up, uh, did a clip speed on this one. So you guys don't have to go and watch it in real time because it's just, it's way slower. Um, but it's the same process, you know. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do the control delete with your keyboard. You go to input keyboard settings, and so you'll find your host key, what your host key is. Mine's is right control. Um, and then to input the control out delete, it is a uh, host plus delete. So since my host is cont right control, it'll be right control plus delete in order to enter control out delete um, with your keyboard into the virtual machine. That way you don't have to, you know, click input and then input control out delete with your mouse. You can just do it with your, um, with your keyboard. So if you want to go ahead and change your host button, you can do that too, but I'm just going to leave it as is. And so now I'm just going to enter right control delete to be able to enter control alt delete. And then I'm going to log in. So there we go. We got that one up. Now we're going to uh, install our SSCM server, Windows 2019. Start it up. And again, just speeding through this. Remember to pick the desktop experience one um, if you want the GUI. One time I did it without it, and it just like it led me to a command pop, and I had no idea what to do. Um, so then I had to do it over again. But yeah, just a little note. If you know how to do the command prop, that's super cool. Um, I just don't. All right, so we're going to do our Windows 10 machine now. It's going to be our last one. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to speed up through this one just, cause, just to show you like the difference between the Windows 10 and the Windows 2019. Um, so yeah, select. make sure you select the right uh, ISO. So I'm going to select the Windows 2019 evaluation one, um, which I have saved in a folder. Open it. All right, choose it. And then I'm going to start it up. All right. OK, so that one's going to start booting up. And it's, again, pretty similar. So again, you'll like if that works for you. Then go ahead and click next. If you need to change it, then make the changes you need, and then click next. Um, that works for me, so I'm going to go ahead and click next. Install now. So that's going to start up. And so this is real time. Okay, so this one, um, you just accept it. You'll notice it didn't give you that um, different operating systems options. This one's just like it's Windows 10. GUI is involved uh, or like the default. 
Um, so yeah, that's gonna install. I'll speed through this one just because like this always takes a little bit more time. So yeah, that's it started up already. You got your Windows 10 machine installed. Um, and then you're good to go. So that's it, guys. I'm not really gonna do much with this Windows 10 machine for now because I still kind of have to figure out how to work with it after I do install SCCM on the servers and get everything ready. Um, so we're going to focus mainly on the Windows 2019 servers that we created. But um, now that you have everything installed, um, the next video is going to focus on getting the IP configurations ready and then um, making sure we could connect all of them. So that's what I'm going to do for our next video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any comments, any suggestions, if I've made mistakes or anything, please let me know. Um, so if, and also if you want to go ahead and like and uh, subscribe, that would be awesome too. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, thank you and have a good one.